What is up you guys welcome to the ninth tutorial of programming in C and in this tutorial as I said I'll be talking about while loops in the next tutorial I'll talk about do while but for now while loop is pretty much similar to the for loop uh, the only thing different is the syntax so to demonstrate this I'll be declaring a variable first called I and to use the while loop we type the keyword while and we put the parenthesis now even the while loop has its own curly brackets so we type the curly brackets now like the for loop we type the initialization condition and the increment but in the while loop we only type one thing and that is the condition so what about the initialization well initialization we do it before we uh, start our while loop so to initialize the variable i we type here like something like i is equals to whatever the value we want to initialize it to one for now and we ended with a semicolon so let's come inside the brackets and type our condition now condition can be uh, something like i is less than uh, nine this time let's take nine and what about the increment okay now increment can be done inside here we have to do it inside here the only thing here inside the brackets will come is condition so if we want to print out the statement called print f and we put hello uh, hello world is boring i think i should put um, sub world something cool and we put it on a new line now to increment we come to the next line and we write this i is equals to i plus how much ever number we want to increment it by i'll increment it by one this time and we end it with a semicolon so uh, I, I believe the program is done and let's run this and see what happens sub wall sub wall sub wall pretty cool huh and it ran eight times because we have given uh, less than nine and we have initialized i to two uh, sorry i'm so sorry initialized to one now uh, one more thing i like to tell you is instead of this line here we can also write it like i plus plus and a semicolon now what i plus plus means is i is equals to i plus one one okay one it increments it by one i plus plus means i plus one it increases the value of i by one <laughs> i i don't want to confuse you guys I, that's why I, I was repeating it that many times um it, it runs the same way okay sub wall sub wall <laughs> okay uh we can also put equal to like something in the condition now initialization uh, we can also initialize it another way we can initialize it here itself when we declare it we can write i is equals to one and uh, we can also declare some other variables if we want like j k uh, sorry j k and we can also initialize it here like this it will run the same okay believe me i will run and show now. okay uh, the other thing the very important thing now uh, I'm going to tell you is about indenting stuff okay now in programming it gets very confusing uh, where the curly brackets start and where it ends for example if main function starts here and ends here we can get confused where it starts and ends to overcome this problem we programmers actually indent the stuff uh, we use the tabs we actually just put everything forward by using uh, I'm sorry tabs I'm really sorry oh my god and uh, here the main function starts we can see it clearly now so uh, we have used a while loop it has its own curly brackets we use the tab again inside another curly bracket so that it looks pretty neat this way you know 
we can uh, really understand what's going on main function is starting here and ends here while is starting here and ending here so i really recommend you to use this tabs it's called indenting and it looks very neat and uh, it's a very good thing to use by a programmer you should uh, always have this habit of indenting everything so from now on uh, i'll be indenting every program i uh, teach you guys so that's it that's all i want to say about while loops and indenting also so thanks for watching and we meet in the next video